All right, this video deals with a new way to measure angles called radians. All right, we measure angles uh, two ways, using degrees and using, uh, using radians. All right, so here's the definition of a radian. One radian is the measure of the central angle of a circle that intercepts an arc, that's like, that's on the circle here, an arc equal in length to the radius of the circle. So that really means that this arc on the circle it, it, has a, it has a length, right? When its length is the same length as the radius, okay, everybody agree that that's going to happen at some point. When that happens, then the angle measure that we're, that we're saying inside here is called one radian. All right, what happens if we say we've got this is one radius, and then we do another one, okay? So you'd have another angle that would be out here, so to speak, that would go all the way over, okay? So there'd be, that would be two radians, actually, right? And so then if we do a third one, put it down here, right, that'd be three radians. Let me see what's happening. And you can do another one, there'd be four, and five, and then six. So it looks like it's a little more than um, six times you can lay the radius around the circle. And in fact, that leads us to this idea. We all know that the, circ the circumference of a circle is C equals 2 pi r. Right? So really what that means is that the radius can be laid around the circle 2 pi times. Which means then that one full revolution around the circle corresponds to 2 pi radians. So one full revolution around the circle, so here's our circle. Okay, so if we go one full revolution around the circle, like such, that corresponds to 2 pi radians. Well, we also know that one full revolution around the circle corresponds to how many degrees? All right, 360 degrees. All right, so that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. All right, so 360 degrees, we know, is one full revolution around a circle. And 2 pi radians is also one full revolution around the circle. So those two things are equal. All right, so what happens if we do halfway around a circle? All right, well, that's 180 degrees. And how many radians do we go around the circle? Well, if all the way around is 2 pi, then halfway around is pi. All right, so we can measure angles two ways, with degrees or with radians. We have a couple of correlations here between degrees and radians. 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians, and 180 degrees equals pi radians, right? All right, so if 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, then 1 degree is equal to, we divide both sides by 180, you get pi over 180 radians. Everybody see that? We just divided both sides here by the number 180. That left 1 degree on this side and pi over 180 radians on this side. Or we could have said, all right, what, how do we get 1 radian? We'll divide both sides of this equation right here by pi. And so you'd have 180 degrees divided by pi is equal to 1 radian. Everybody see how we do that? We're just taking this this equation right here where 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and, uh, and rewriting them in two different ways. And the reason why is because these two things down here, well, that's how we're going to be converting from degrees to radians and from radians to degrees. So the following note, so multiply any radian measure by 180 degrees over pi and then simplify that and that will convert it into degrees. Also, we could multiply any degree measure by pi over 180 radian, and then simplify that, and that will convert it to radians. For example, all right, convert 60 degrees to radians. So 60 degrees equals 60 times pi over 180, because we want to convert degrees to radians, so you multiply it by pi over 180, Simplify it up, and you get pi over 3 radians. So 60 degrees corresponds to pi over 3 radians. All right, what about converting 5 pi over 6 radians to degrees? All right, well, to do that, you take 5 pi over 6, 
Okay, and that's going to be equal to 5 pi over 6, and we're going to multiply that times. Well, we're converting from radians to degrees, so we have to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Pi's go away, 5, 6 times 180 all goes to 150 degrees. So 5 pi over 6 radians gets you at the same spot as 150 degrees does. All right, so we're going to need to be able to convert between degrees and radians and then also from radians to degrees. All right, so why use radians? Well, radians are a unitless number. Degrees have, well, they've got the degree unit attached to it. But radians, well, radians, that's just the number of times the radius can be put along the circumference of the circle. It has no unit associated with it. It's just a number. And because of that, it makes the formulas and the equations and the mathematics that we're going to do in the uh, trig class as well as in calculus, uh, it makes them a lot easier and simpler to do. All right, so very useful, these radians. All right, so make sure we understand how to convert between uh, degrees and radians. And because radians are unitless in measurement, uh, we need to make uh, note of the following. If no unit of measure is specified for an angle, then it is understood to be in radian measure. So, for example, if you put down the number 45, that's understood to be 45 radians not 45 degrees. If, if we want degrees, we have to put that symbol up there, the little degree symbol up there. It's 45 degrees. We could just as easily say, well, pi degrees. Just because it's pi doesn't mean that it's radians. It's because it's pi degrees, little degree symbols up there. right? So be very careful. This is where common mistakes are, are easily made, is we'll just be in a hurry, and we'll write down, all right, 135, and go about our merry way. And you really mean 135 degrees right not 135 radians but if you leave that degree symbol off then it is understood to be 135 radians so which is very different from 135 degrees so just be very very careful when writing your angles all right, all right that's it for uh, for radians study well please let me know if you have any questions